Good morning, Good morning everybody. everybody. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Brian's Farm. Farm. It's a lot cooler down here at hometown than it has been the last two weeks. We just got set up. Sammy, my dad, and my pap will be here with us today. And Earl is actually on the other side of us selling his own stuff today. Here's what the setup looks like. Just about the same as normal. No pop-ups though because like I said, it's freezing. And it's very, very windy, which makes it even colder. As far as what's left here on the truck is just some extras, some portulacas, the diamond frost, yeah. some extra peppers, uh, some thyme, uh, sweet potato vine, and vinca vine. Other stuff like the vine crops, we didn't even take off yet. We're afraid with the cold wind that they might wilt down. And they're even a little bit small, but as far as I test them, if they can pull out like this and the whole cell comes out, I'm taking them to market because a lot of people ask about them and I don't want to go without. Sammy's wearing like three jackets. Four. Four. <laughs> One of them's mine, so I'm just going to be a little bit cold today, I guess. You'll be okay. So here we are the next day. We just got our potato cutter in the shed. We're about to start cutting our seed potatoes. I didn't get any video of actually selling any of the plants at the hometown farmer's market yesterday. It was just so cold, windy, and nasty that I didn't want to get the camera out, but we still ended up having a pretty decent day. Dad brought the seed potatoes up. I showed you me picking these up a couple videos ago. We have three different varieties. I think we have two white, or actually one white, one yellow, and one red, and that's going to be the Eva, Norwest, and Dark Red Norland. On every single bag is a tag saying what it is. And then right here is our potato cutter. This is very old. I don't exactly know how old it is, but how it works is there is two, four, six different slots you can put the potatoes on. I think if I'm correct, the four middle ones cut it in four and the two end ones just cut the potatoes in half. So one person will stand here, one person will stand over there, put the potatoes on right here. This is where it cuts. You can see there's a blade doing a crossways here in the middle. That's for the middle four. And then just on the end here, it's just one blade that cuts in half. After it cuts it, the potatoes will fall down into this little chute here. And that's where we'll have all of our black baskets lined up and they'll fall into there. Then we'll load them up after this onto a wagon and they'll be ready to plant. I'm not even sure if you can buy anything like this anymore. I know they sell big, huge versions of it, but with the little bit of potatoes that we do, it wouldn't be worth it for us to buy a huge setup. And so we try and take as best of care of this as possible because this is what we've been using for years and it always works pretty well. The operation has started. Here's our yellow potatoes, which is the Norwest. I don't exactly know how many baskets are here, but they are done now. We just moved on to the red, which is the dark red Norland. And you can kind of see the size that uh, we like to have them at. Then over here is where everybody's working. So what I'll do is, like I said, I'll open these bags up and I actually don't have any open right now to show you, but I'll show you that in a little bit. I'll dump them in these crates. And this is where Sammy and Frank and I are cleaning these sprouts off. We don't want to plant these in the ground like this. And so we just go through real quick, clean them all off, put them in the basket, and that's where Graham and Pat are putting them on the conveyor to whatever size they need to be at. And they fall down in here to Dad, where if they're still a little bit too big, he'll go through and cut them down even smaller. That's good. And Frank will take them okay. and set them on the wagon. And we just keep repeating this process until the whole job is done. It all gets done the same exact way. It doesn't matter what kind of potato it is. Oh 
have to tell him because he won't listen to me. Yeah, no more than What's that? that? <laughs> yeah, no more. I wouldn't put more than two on. They're big and they're soft. Don't put more than two big ones on at a time. Okay. Because no more than two. they're big and gotcha. they're soft. And even if it does, then it don't cut them. And I got to peel them apart. <laughs> One second until I get caught up here. Jojo always used to like to work with us because we were good entertainment. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> All right. That's right. Get some more stuff. Yeah, and we're laughing. <laughs> our corn bags, we open these the same way. Cut one, string on the left side, that tail, pull this little tab up, and it pulls right out. Just like that. We're on the home stretch. This is all we have left. We have six bags here, five bags there. Jared came. We're on the Eva now. We're noticing a little more rotten ones than these. You can see them here in the bags. Hold on a minute. Maybe not. Oh, right here. You can see how they're rotting through. But it's only a couple we had to take out. But we don't want to plant. These are a little bit smaller of a potato. There's still some bigger ones, but with the reds and the Norwest, you didn't notice some of the, there wasn't quite as many small ones. Daisy's taking a nap. Why is she barking? Lily's barking. Now she's nervous. You can see the wagon filling up. So like I said, it starts off with Norwis. Then we go to the dark red Norland, which is a red potato. Now we're on a white potato, which is the Eva. Like 
See? That's what I said. It's good to Like, I do that. <laughs> I go, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I mean by it. <laughs> I throw them right on. Even that big? You can put that on in half. I don't know. It depends. Whatever you want to do. Potatoes are cut. Dad's just backing some of the equipment back in the shed. We got the potato planter out of the barn. Dad's going to get this put together tomorrow. And then hopefully we're going to get planting. And when I say get it put together, he just has... I think some plates, yeah, to put in here. This is where the fertilizer comes down through. So all that's gotta get put in there. Here's the potatoes. Basically a full wagon. We're not going to market on Saturday. So tomorrow's Friday, that means we don't have to load, which is really nice. Which that means now we can work on planting potatoes, just water the greenhouses, get done whatever needs to be done in there. And mom has actually been working on making a lot of planners for Memorial Day coming up. She just got most of the last batch of tomato hanging baskets planted. Usually this would be kind of late, but tomatoes grow so fast, I'm not really worried. Then down here is the planters, or some of them anyway. This is like a big, I don't know, 12 inch or 14 inch, something like that pot with two or three geraniums in them. And basically everything you see here is all new planting. This is uh, sweet marjoram. We actually did some catnip, parsley, sage. Over here is marigolds, impatience, petunias. And then down here is the log planters. Sammy did these today. Mom thought maybe we should plant something else so that it's fuller, but me and dad decided that in two weeks, when Memorial Day is, and that's when all the people are gonna wanna plant them. They're gonna be nice and full, and I don't think there's gonna be any danger of them not being full enough. We did, I think, 30 altogether of the log planters. Then here's a different kind of planter with spikes, and again, the seed geraniums. We have marigolds, Dusty Miller, begonias. And then in here is just a couple of the hangers of seed geraniums that mom got done. I don't even know what colors they are yet. I can just see a little bit of white here. That'll be our first time ever attempting to sell a hanging basket geranium. I've seen other people do it, so I thought, well, let's try it for ourselves. That's what I'm calling it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.